About seven months ago, you might have noticed, or didn't notice, that I stopped posting videos on this YouTube channel, and that's because I joined Android Authority and started posting videos on their channel. And one of the perks that you get from working with Android Authority is that you get to travel the world and see phone launches that you would never get to see if I was just running my own channels. So I thought I'd do like a vlog and bring you along and show you what it's like behind the scenes working for something like Android Authority when you're here to see a new phone launch. So I'm gonna show you exactly what it's like when you come to one of these phone launches. Also, you're gonna see like, this is the bougiest hotel in the world. I just don't belong here. Have a look at this. Like, if there's one place that I do not belong, it is here. Look at it, it's just ridiculous. So if there's anything that's actually even fun about coming to anywhere like this, it's the food. Like, if there's so much food, it's ridiculous how much you get for free. This, I just didn't, shouldn't be in a five-star hotel, it's just so silly. And if you're curious how this works, so essentially Xiaomi fly you out to these events and they will show you hands-on with some phones. So like this time, like I said, it's going to be the folding phone and the flipping phone. You get about 30 minutes, you get to film all your stuff and then make your videos. And then usually they kind of like to show off a little bit. So they take you to these big fancy hotels and they give you like really nice dinners and try and make you feel really special. And you know what? It does work. And they kind of like just plan everything out for you so you don't have to do Anything, you get this whole agenda and they just ferry you everywhere and I gotta say it's stupid that this is my job but I absolutely love it I'm sat in a Xiaomi EV now and we're at the actual factory where they make them and it's all a little bit wild like it looks so good and you've seen a couple of the shots of it and if I could drive one of these at home it'd feel like driving a phone and I think that would actually be really good, but you know, these are quite, these are pretty cool. What's cool about this is it has Hyper OS that drives the car, which doesn't sound quite cool, but it is because if you have like Xiaomi devices, it will all just like auto connect as soon as you get into the car, which imagine if Apple or Google or Samsung did something like that, we'd be raving about it. So this is actually a really neat little feature. And I kind of want one of these cars. It goes to zero to hundred kilometers in like two seconds, which is ridiculously fast. And hopefully I'm going to have a going one around a racetrack, which is just behind me, then if you can see the car that's there. If I get too into one of those, this is going to be quite cool. Right, that was ridiculously quick. Like, you can see my face as it just went. I just wasn't expecting it to be that quick at all. Oh God, I want this car so much, but it's not something that you're gonna be able to get outside of China, which is a shame, but it's cool. So now we're going to go into a briefing for the new phones and there's like loads of different media here. So people from like Germany and all these different European countries. And we're going to go and just hear about the new phones, see all the specs about everything. So there's going to be like a couple of hundred of us in a room. Um, it's not always the most exciting stuff in the world, but this is where we get all of our specs and get to see the phones like for the first time. So I'll show you what that looks like inside. Okay, so we've just done the content capture for the Xiaomi Flip and the Xiaomi Fold and you can just see that there's so many people here trying to get the same photo and same video so you're kind of like fighting against people all the time but the good news is that I have got a free Xiaomi bag which is quite heavy, there's lots of stuff in it and hopefully there's a water bottle because if there's not a water bottle then I'm going to be disappointed. But now, I don't know if you can see, so have a look, it's like 1am now, I don't know if you can see it. So it's 1am and I've just got to edit 
some photos that we took from today's briefing. They will go up on the Android Authority website at some point for all these articles. And that is that for day one. So um, I'll see you in the morning. Hello. Right, it's day two in Beijing and today's a busy day and it started off badly because I already woke up late, I've missed breakfast and there's a couple of things that I have to do. So there's an unboxing of the Xiaomi Mix Fold that I have to do for an embargo but the bus leaves in like 10 minutes so I've got to be quick because I'm going to National Museum to do like a tour there. Then I've got an interview with the Xiaomi VP Jin Fan later on as well. So busy day, but um, I'll take you with me and show you what it's all about. Also, let me just say there's nothing in the world better than starting your day with a can of Red Bull. I am obsessed with this. I'm at Xiaomi's headquarters. You can have a look out the window and it's just so cool here. And I just finished my interview with Jin Fan, who is the VP of software for Xiaomi. And here's something interesting. So I came here thinking that it was just gonna be an interview and it would get written up on the Android Authority website. Uh, when we got here, it turns out that they were ready for a full video interview, which I wasn't ready for, which threw me off a little bit. But these are the things that you kind of just don't plan to happen. Of course, like I wish I'd planned ahead for a video interview, but we didn't. Uh, so that was interesting. It threw me off just a little bit. And the fact that I haven't really interviewed anyone ever before. So it's interesting, but it's one of those things that I've never had a chance to do before. For, and I quite I quite liked it. I thought it was quite fun. But now I need to go for dinner and have a drink because that was stressful. Not a super exciting day today. I didn't really do much, just sat here and worked and did that interview and then went for dinner. So not a huge amount to go. Although right now it is 23.39 and tomorrow is Xiaomi's launch event for the Mix Fold 4 and the Mix Flip. So I've got to have two videos ready for the embargo, which is at 8 a.m. the day after. So tonight I've got to write the videos, the script for that, and then I need to film them both tomorrow and then capture the B-roll of the Mix Fold 4 because I've not been able to get a review unit of that one. So for the next couple of hours, I'm now just gonna sit here in the hotel room and just write a couple of scripts, wake up early tomorrow, and get them filmed. So you can watch the, the time lapse of, of this. I'm gonna make like three hours be like two minutes. Not two minutes, that's too long. 10 seconds. Good morning. Right, this is my last day in China, in Beijing, for this Xiaomi launch. And it's been a busy night. So I was up until about 2 a.m. trying to write all the scripts for the videos. And I'm still not finished. And it's, what, 9, 10 a.m. now? So I've got my trusty Red Bull here. It's, it's like a China version of this. I don't think I've ever seen this one. It doesn't taste quite like Red Bull, but it is keeping me alive. Uh, so I've got all this stuff to do today. It's a busy day. And then I leave today on my flights at like 3 a.m. So let's just, let's just get to it. Right, I'm about to record the first of the two videos and this is kind of the setup that I have for the hotel. So if you turn this around, you'll see I've got my camera there. Um, I have my phone here, which will have all my script on it. And I know Android Authority, but I have an iPhone for it just because I can't get onto any of the apps that I need on my Android phone, annoyingly. But I'm just gonna pop this down here and then you can have a look and watch me do the video which is happening up here. But I'll cut it in and then you'll see and it'll look great, maybe. Cool. Video done, one of two.
So this is interesting now. I'm on my way to my first ever, I suppose it's the announcement of a phone, so it's for the, for the Xiaomi phones. And I've never done this before. All these guys that I'm with have done it a million times, but this will be interesting to see exactly what it's like. I don't know what to expect. I see them on the, like on YouTube and stuff all the time. So this is the first, so come and have a look. And that's it. My whole time in China is done with Beijing and the Xiaomi launch. But I thought I'd give you a bit of a look of how this actually works, what goes into it, how you make the videos and all that sort of stuff. So not the normal stuff that I would do on the channel, but you know what? If you liked it, then why not subscribe to it? Because I'll do a little bit more of these in the next couple of weeks and show you kind of like what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, I suppose. But for now, um, that's it. See you later.